Oh, hi, I'm the heretic. It's Christmas time, and that means hanging out with friends and family, exchanging gifts, and sitting down to a nice, delicious feast near the end of the day. It's a wonderful, joyous time of year where Christians celebrate the birth of the Son of God, while everybody gets to enjoy Christmas music and the pretty Christmas lights. There's Santa Claus, decorated trees, and sales on everything, and it's all awesome. Whatever your reason, there's something for everyone. Which is why we need Santa to be gay. Absolutely mandatory. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm being trolled right now. Harper House is absolutely trolling us right now. What, was Santa not progressive enough? And what about Mrs. Claus? Jeez, talk about a war on women. You just completely annihilated her. We have to come up with all these idiotic reimaginings of every cultural icon in existence, except for the progressive ones, like, those are sacred. Can you hear me, conservatives, libertarians, alt-right? The progressives do not want you to turn their icons into pro-life, traditional values, pro-capitalism icons. Pinkie Pie is definitely not a Trump supporter, so don't even think about giving her a MAGA hat. And Stephen certainly does not want to end the Fed. But this has me wondering, colleges all over the United States are trying to purge Christmas, so what's the point of co-opting a Christmas icon? Excuse me, attempting to co-opt a Christmas icon? Well, let's take a step back here. People want to escape from all these politics. They're tired of being suspicious of their neighbors and even their immediate family. I mean, thinking that fully one half of the country is evil and wants to kill you it must be exhausting, right, social justice warriors? So being able to sit down with hot cocoa and come together as a family, exchange gifts and goodwill, and allow our common heritage and tradition to bind us together as living, breathing creatures on the third rock of the sun that we all share should be something that we should cherish. Hell no! SJWs want you thinking about gay people and gay sex all the time. Keep rubbing salt into those wounds. Widen the ravine between neighbor and neighbor. Offer no respite from the bitterness and isolation from constant identity politics. Divide those communities. Break up those families. The progressives and the priesthood of statism need your votes. I'm sure that's not what their intentions are, but there are vast swaths of people who are sick and tired of rainbow flags being thrown in their faces. Tired of the hedonistic pleasure cult parading their sexual fetishes down Main Street while chanting how if seeing some 40-year-old 250-pound dude wearing nothing but aviators and a leather thong makes us uncomfortable, somehow that's our fault. Because we're just not used to it. There's three reasons I can think of for why gay black Santa exists. Either one, it's meant to be deconstructive of culture by forcing us to think politically at a time that there should be a respite from politics. Two, the author and the publisher mean to demystify homosexuality and probably didn't anticipate any backlash beyond what might be expected from Christian fundamentalists. Or three, they knew exactly what they were doing, and this is an elaborate troll by a bunch of cockmonglers who are just having a laugh at our expense. If so, then well played, Harper House. Well played. But just so we're clear, do not make memes about Judy Hopps and how she understands that taxation is theft. Do not.